when saint helena was designed it was planned to accommodate aircraft no larger than a 737-700 or airbus a319 but in 2013 the saint helena government along with the construction company basil reed undertook some modifications to allow larger aircraft to land following the addition of wider runway shoulders extensions and turning circles the airport now boasts a concrete runway of some 1950 meters and a landing distance available of 1550 meters this makes it possible for code d aircraft to land including the lockheed c130 hercules and the boeing 757 in essence any aircraft up to and including the size of the boeing 757 can land safely at saint helena the embraer e jets are ideally suited to the conditions at saint helena due to their tolerance for high tailwinds but that doesn't mean that other aircraft will struggle because saint helena is a category c airport preparation is needed for any arriving aircraft regardless of its size in fact one of the latest aircraft types to touch down at saint helena airport has been a titan air boeing 757 While there are a number of ways to classify airports, one of the key categorizations for an airport like St Helena is its landing category. A risk assessment based on various data points designates every airfield as either category A, B, or C. For an airport to be designated as category A, it must meet some strict criteria. These include night operations capability at least one runway with no performance limited procedure for landing and takeoff an approved instrument landing procedure circling minimum of no higher than 1000 feet any airport that is classified as category a is one of the easiest to land at for category b there may be some elements that make it slightly out of the ordinary these airports can't tick all the boxes to be a category a airfield or there are some special considerations for example unusual weather conditions unusual lightning layout or obstructions non standard approach procedures some examples of category b airfields include rome dubrovnik corfu and jersey however What really gets a pilot's blood pumping is landing at a category C airport. These airports often have the most stunning looking but mentally challenging approaches involved. The issues surrounding these airfields are often quite unique to each other, but there are some notable examples in Europe. Innsbruck in Austria is widely considered one of the most beautiful approaches in the world. However, its valley location with high terrain on all sides means it's challenging visually and sometimes experiences low level turbulence gibraltar has limited landing and take off weights due to its short runway and can experience unusual wind effects due to the nearby rock of gibraltar one of the most well known category c airports in europe is london city airport which has a limited number of aircraft able to land there The high buildings around it mean the approach is made up of a steep 5.8 degree glide path as opposed to the usual 3 degree glide path. Similarly, even St Helena Airport is a category C airport and only a limited number of aircraft are able to land there. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to this channel.